thank you so much for participating in our study. I know you were probably given a lot of information when you signed on, um, but before we start, I just want to go over what we're going to be doing. Uh, just the basics, just like a refresher, okay? All right. So, we are studying the effects of pre-procedural massage on recovery post-procedure. That basically means that um, medical procedures can be stressful and traumatic on the body, right? So we are testing to see if a massage before the procedure might contribute to shorter healing time, better outcomes. What procedure are you having after this? Um, oh, you are having a insomnia extraction. Okay, that's perfect. That's a pretty gentle procedure, which makes it perfect for the beginning stages of our study. Uh, we're just going to begin with a basic checkup. Um, just want to make sure you're in good health and there's nothing going on that might... Uh, preclude doing the procedure today. Then I will administer the massage and uh, if everything looks good, I'll send you off to your procedure, okay? Alright, let me just... patient session, okay. So, are you comfortable in your medical gown? Is it actually okay if I make a couple little adjustments? Thank you. Okay, let me put this down. All right, I'm just gonna get right in here, and we just got these new gowns in. It's, it's super soft, isn't it? Yeah, and it's like the perfect weight. I actually snuck one of these home <laughs> to use as pajamas. I Readjust the tie here. Um, maybe from the side. Okay. There we go. Perfect. It's a really nice color on you, too. Okay. So, um, anything else we need to check off before the exam? Okay. Both the initial checkup and the massage, of course, are going to involve me touching you quite a bit. Is that okay? Alright, great. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab some sanitizer. I'm going to put my gloves on and then we'll get started. Okay? Great. So. So, just right. get those gloves on. Start off by taking your temperature. Let me grab my thermometer. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and gently place this in your ear. Let's make sure we don't have a fever running or anything. All right, you're gonna feel me placing it in your ear right here. Let's go ahead and do the other side just to make sure. Again, just 
gently placing it in your ear. Good. Okay. Perfect. Start. Let me go ahead and down. Left ear. Right ear left. Go ahead and take your pulse. Can I have your hand first? I'm just gonna thank you. I'm just gonna place my fingers on your wrist right here. Just a moment. Side, please. Other hand. Thank you. Just gonna count. And good. Perfect. Thank you. Like a little nervous. Okay. People's heart rate always tends to be just a little bit high during these. Nothing to worry about. It's just, I think, being examined and watched really closely. Kind of. You probably don't care. I just think it's interesting. Okay, so. I'm going to do a quick lymphatic check. I'm just going to be pressing my hand first on this side, then on this side, just making sure there's no swelling. Okay, so I'm going to place my hand right here. Just gently palpating. Feels fine. Any illness or allergies recently or... Okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's go ahead and check the other side. I'm just going to place my hand right here. Stethoscope. Okay, so I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to place it in a few different spots on your chest. I'm going to lower down your gown here. Um, just going to be listening to your lungs and your heart. And I'll go around back. I'll check your back. And then we'll move on. Okay. So is it okay if I kind of open up your gown a little bit in the front here? Okay, thank you. Perfect, okay. So I'm just going to place this right here. Can you go ahead and take a nice deep breath for me? Just in and out. Perfect, okay. Just moving it. Another deep breath in and out. Beautiful. One more time. Gonna move 
it over here and breathe in. Out. Okay, great. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move around back and check from back there. A moment while I loosen up your gown in the back here. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and place it right here. All right. Can you take a nice deep breath for me? In. Out. Beautiful. Okay. I'm just gonna move it over here. Nice deep breath, please. In. Out. Good. And right here. Deep breath, please. In. Out. Good. Just like that. Thank you. All right. Really happy with that. Go ahead and note that doesn't look right. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I forgot to take your blood pressure. I'm gonna note your clear. I'm sure you've had this done a zillion times in your life. I have a blood pressure cuff here. I'm gonna wrap it around your arm. I'm gonna use my stethoscope to take a little listen to what's going on. And uh, all you have to do is relax. The cuff might be a little firm. It's gonna squeeze on your arm. Please tell me if it feels uncomfortable. It should feel tight, but not so tight that it's uncomfortable or painful. So, just like with everything else, I'm going to do both sides. I'm going to start over here, and then we'll move on to the other side. So, okay, got my blood pressure cuff here. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around your arm. There we go. Okay, now in a moment, I'm going to be inflating it. I'll take a little listen. It's going to be squeezing your arm pretty firmly, but it shouldn't hurt or feel uncomfortable. So please let me know if it does, okay? Here we go. Okay, and... Good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and remove the cuff. Okay, um, just like with everything else, we're going to do both sides. Have you done one of these studies before? <laughs> okay, yeah. Now you're a pro at it. You're doing great. Some people get nervous, but you are doing a perfect job. So thank you. You're making this very easy for me. Go ahead and let's wrap it around this arm. Once again, it's going to get a little tight, but it shouldn't hurt. I'm going to go ahead and inflate. Nice. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and deflate it. Let's take that off. Okay, 
going to set that aside. Yeah, don't need the stethoscope anymore. I'm going to set it over here so it's not swinging all over the place. Just going to do a quick nose and mouth check. Um, I'm just going to gently touch the tip of your nose and lift it up so I can get a good look up each of your nostrils. I'll be real quick. Okay, so I'm just going to place this here and I'm going to take a look up here. Good. Okay. Other side, just gently lifting up and good. Beautiful. Okay. So let me put this away and grab slightly stronger light for your mouth. Can you go ahead and just let your jaw drop? Yeah. Can you open up your mouth, please? Just nice, uh, let your tongue relax and just almost like a yawn, just a <sighs> beautiful and just keep it open just like Tonsils, your throat, quick big ear. Good. All right. Really nice. Just gonna just to open up the back of the throat. Can you? I'm sorry. Can you open your mouth and give me a big yawn? Just be. Uh, I'm gonna hold your chin. Big yawn. Big yawn. Good. Gonna take a few quick notes, just a moment. Four step eye exam today. Where's that light? Here we go. Okay. So I have this light right here. I'm gonna be shining it right in your eyes. I'm gonna be giving you some instructions. If you can just follow them as best you can. We're going to start with the Okay. So I'm gonna ask you to hold your head still. Yep, look straight ahead. Just gonna adjust you. There we go. Okay. So to begin with, just stare straight ahead. Um, look at my nose. As best you can, just fix your eye on my nose. Both your eyes. Right here. Good. Okay. Can bring this up. Good. Okay. So now I'm gonna bring the light up and I'm gonna be moving it around a little bit. If you can do your best, just follow the light. Okay. So, look at the light. Perfect. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to be moving the light without moving your head. I'm just going to stabilize your face a little bit here. Okay. So, without moving your head, just follow it with your eyes. Good. Yeah. Just like that. Follow it. Beautiful. Yes. Good. Okay. Back over here. Blink if you need to. Okay. Following the light. Good. Beautiful. Okay. A couple quick notes. light up. Back here. Can you go ahead and look at the light, please? Yep. Just fix your eyes right here on the light. There we go. Now I'm going to be moving the light toward you. 
do your best to keep your eyes on the light. Keep your eyes on the light. Follow, follow, follow. Good. And keep your eyes on the light as it goes out. Blink if you need to, but keep your eyes on the light. Back in. And... Good. A plus. Okay. So... Next, I'm going to have you pick a point in the distance on each side. Um, I'm going to be shining this light in your eye just obliquely. Why don't we go ahead and start with your left eye. Can you just pick a point back there? Any point, it doesn't matter. Keep your eyes fixed on it. I'm going to be bringing the light in. I'm going to be shining it in your eye. Do your best not to look at the light. Keep your eyes fixed on that spot back there, okay? Alright, so eyes back there. Good. Okay, I'm gonna bring the light in. I'm just gonna take a look. Okay. Keep your eyes on that spot back there. Blink if you need to, but then bring your eyes back to that one spot. Okay, it's gonna be a little closer this time. Keep your eyes back there. I'm just gonna... Good. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Other side. Keep a point back here on this side. Good. You're a pro at this now. Look back here. I'm just gonna bring the light in. Your eyes back there. Don't look at the light. I'm just gonna okay. Go ahead, blink if you need to. It's gonna be a little closer this time. Okay, right up in there. Just keep your eyes fixed on that spot behind me. Good. One more looking back here. Okay, beautiful. Observation. Okay. Now, once again, I'm going to close your eyes for a moment. Open them. Good, okay. So once again, I'm going to ask you to look at my nose. I'm going to be shining the light and moving it kind of back and forth. Okay, I'm just going to be doing our sweet flashlight test right here. Okay, so your eyes are going to be right here. Don't move your head. Don't move your eyes. Blink if you need to, but then open them right back up. Look at my nose. I'm just going to bring, bring the light. Good. Keep looking right here. Don't look at the light. Good. Okay, right here. Good. Okay, we're going to do that again. I'm going to have the light much closer to your face this time. Just right here, okay? So looking right here, I'm just going to bring it in. And in. Good. Looking right here. Beautiful. Okay. Your pupils are on top of it. <laughs> Do you exercise them? Okay. Now. And. Point. Now, I'm going to do a quiet ear exam. I'm going to grab my otoscope. Okay. So 
I just need to do a quick check of your ears and your hearing. Um, have you been having any issues recently with difficulty hearing in either ear or pain in either ear? Okay. Yeah. So, it doesn't have to be perfect. We just have your previous medical history here. And we're just testing for any changes. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and place this in your ear. I'm going to take a little look around. Then go ahead and move around to the side, take a look, take some notes, and do a quick hearing test. And then you'll be done with this. You can move on to the massage. Okay, so while I'm doing the, um, the ear exam, can you go ahead and look straight ahead? I'm going to sort of stabilize your chin with my hand, if that's okay. Okay, thank you. So I'm just going to move over here. I'm going to gently hold your chin right here. This shouldn't feel uncomfortable. Please let me know if it is. I'm going to go ahead and place the otoscope in your ear. Right here. Good look around. Check in the ear and get off the nose ready. Signs of irritation or infection in the scrapes, swelling. Looking really good. Gonna go a little deeper here. Good. Take a good look at your tympanic membrane, your eardrum. Gonna make sure it's the right amount of translucent. Exactly where they should. Good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the otoscope. Good. You'll be pleased to know that your left ear, at least, is the absolute picture of tympanic membrane health. Get the other ear real quick. Once again, placing the otoscope in your ear. Bad. All right. And we're looking really good. Totally healthy, normal amounts. That's good. Not seeing any rabbits or swelling or anything to be concerned about. Gonna get in a little deeper here. But okay. And we've got another beautiful tympanic membrane. Removing the otoscope. Go ahead. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put this away real quick. Okay. Beautiful. 
Next, we're going to do a very basic, simple hearing test. I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to be doing this very close to your ear. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to slowly move it away. If you could just say something or signal to me when you can't hear it anymore, okay? So if you can hear it, just chill. Um, once you can no longer hear it, just say no, raise a finger, give me a little wink, whatever you want, okay? So, I'm just gonna let me know when you can no longer hear it. Good, okay. Same thing, other side. Beautiful. So that's about... Yeah, that's plenty. And... Good. All right. You did a great job. That's it for the exam. I'm really happy with how everything looks. Are you feeling good? You good with moving on to the massage now and then the procedure afterwards? Okay, great. So, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off on your massage. Gonna sign off on the procedure. There we go. I think there's one more in here. Beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside. All right. So I'm pleased to inform you that you are in good health. You're in perfect shape for the procedure. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna do your massage, and then we'll send you on your way. Okay. So it's gonna be pretty basic. I'm gonna go ahead and move behind you. Um, going to loosen up your gown and the back kind of open it up. As you probably notice, it's designed to uh, hang open in the back while still keeping you covered in the front. Please feel free to adjust it, shift it around as it's comfortable, um, lower it, raise it, whatever is fine. I'm just going to be getting in there and doing a moderate pressure massage on your shoulders your back, and once we've gotten through that, you'll go ahead and move on to your extraction, okay? Alright, great. So you can just sit there and get comfortable, and we'll go ahead and move around. We'll get started with that massage. Alright. Grab some massage oil. We have a few different types here. They're all natural, hypoallergenic, very safe. They absorb really nicely into the skin, so this is going to help my fingers glide really nicely over your shoulders and your back, especially with the gloves on but it'll absorb in really nicely. You don't have to worry about feeling greasy or anything like that. So I have some 
plain unscented oil. And I have this one here, which is lavender scented. I have one that is vanilla scented. I have another one over here. And the scent is exotic musk. It's like a sort of rich, musky smell. They're all really nice. None of the scented ones are too strong. Um, which one would you like? The unscented, the lavender, the vanilla, or the musk? Alright, you got it. So, first let me go ahead and open up your gown in the back here. Perfect. You feeling a little breeze on your back? <laughs> okay. Don't worry, I'll get you nice and warmed up with my hands. Let's go ahead and grab some oil. Okay. Now this is going to be a pretty gentle, medium pressure massage. I'm going to begin by just sort of gliding my hands the back of your neck and your shoulders here. Giving your body a chance to get comfortable with my touch. Okay, let's get back your neck here. I'm gonna grab a little more oil to spread over your upper back here. Feel some nice long strokes going down your back. First on this side. There we go. And on the left. your shoulders here and using mostly pressure from my fingertips to kind of start gently working the muscles on both sides. pressure from my thumbs. Some nice 
nice long strokes at the back of your neck here. Some little circles. Get all my fingers in on it here. There we go. Okay. Using my thumbs to kind of work this area at the base of your skull here. And if you want to do any kind of visualization to help along the relaxation process, you're welcome to. You can just imagine the muscles of your neck, your shoulders, your back feeling warm and relaxed. Soft and cozy beneath my touch. Okay. A little more oil here. Okay. Gonna start doing some nice long strokes down your back here, starting on the right. my thumb in circles as I work my way down. Here we go. How's that pressure? Is it too firm or is it just right? That's great. Okay. More little circles with my thumb here. Working my way down. Okay, I'm going to place my hands on your shoulders, both sides, here, and here. Okay. I'm going to gently squeeze your shoulders like that. Squeeze and release. Again, I'm going to squeeze and release. Squeeze. into your left shoulder here. I'm going to 
really get in there. Get some of that on the right shoulder. attention to the back of the neck here. Firm little circles with my fingertips. Alternating between circles and strokes. Again, first on the left. Good. On the right. Place my hands on your shoulders again here. I'm gonna do a few more squeezes. I'm gonna squeeze. Release. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Release. One more time. I'm gonna squeeze. And release. Pretty good shape. You're looking so much more relaxed. I think I can do a little bit more, get you a little more relaxed before your procedure. So let's give a little more attention to your left shoulder. Gentle strokes down your back, first on the right.
think you're ready. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get your gown tied back up here. Okay, there we go. You have been an absolutely perfect patient for this study so far. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and sign off on your procedure and we'll send you on your way to your insomnia extraction. I think it's going to be a great success for you. All right, let's go. All right, so are you ready for your procedure? Okay, so this is an insomnia extraction. Uh, I will be giving you a mild sedative sublingually. Uh, it should help you relax. This is a procedure that can be completed whether you're awake or asleep though. So if at any point you find yourself getting sleepy, you wanna doze off, that's perfectly fine. Go right ahead. Um, I am going to be going through your ears to do the extraction. Okay, we'll start with initial check with my otoscope. Then there's going to be a steam treatment. Then I'm going to go in uh, with a special tool, a modified otoscope, and I will start um, doing a round of extractions on both sides. Okay, then we'll go through the whole process one more time. We will finish up with a final check and then I'll send you on your way and you can come back another day for your post-procedural evaluation, okay? So, this is gonna require me to touch your ears quite a lot. I may also need to periodically touch your head, your face, just to stabilize it as I'm going into your ears. Is that gonna be okay? All right, great. Um, it shouldn't be uncomfortable at all shouldn't hurt. Uh, it should just be relaxing. But if at any point anything does feel uncomfortable, please let me know and we'll pause the session. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. A moment, I'm gonna get some hand sanitizer and put on my gloves. Okay. Now, you probably already know this, but Full insomnia extraction is um, something that's usually done in stages. We should be able to remove a lot of it during your first initial session, but you'll see the best results over multiple initial sessions, and then You'll want to do occasional uh, maintenance sessions later on, all right? Okay, so I'm going to start off with your initial inspection, then we'll do the steam treatment, the extraction, and to start, let me grab your little dose of that sedative. It's very mild, very safe. Flavorless. Okay, so I'm gonna have you open your mouth, tilt your head back a little bit. I'm gonna pour just a third of a vial here into your mouth. If you could have it rest under your tongue for a few moments and then swallow it. Okay, so go ahead, tilt your head back, open your mouth, ah, uh, lift your tongue up. I'm just gonna. There, good, okay. You can close your mouth, but try and hold it under your tongue there for a moment. Put this away. Good. 
All right. Can you try and swish it around your mouth a little bit? Good. Go ahead and swallow it. Great. All right. Perfect. Again, it's very mild. You shouldn't be, like, feeling anything too wacky. You should just notice your body gradually relaxing as we move forward. Okay? Great. So, I've got my otoscope right here. I'm going to start on this side. Carefully examine. Move on to the other side. Examine. I'll take some notes and then we'll move ahead. You're going to feel the tip of the otoscope entering your ear right here. Good. Okay. Found it. Taking a initial look around. Get the sense of the overall home. Scope. Same thing, other side. All right. On a scope, entering your ear right here. Beautiful. Just 
a few quick notes. Next, for the steam treatment, I'm going to be treating each ear with a damp, hot sponge. It's not hot enough that it's going to hurt at all, but the uh, warm moisture from the sponge is going to be sort of like a steam treatment from your ear for your ears, and that's just going to um, help relax the ear canals. It's going to soften the filaments of the insomnia, so they'll be easier to remove. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to stand behind you while I do this. I'll start on one side, then the other, and then we'll go ahead and do both sides. All right? All right. Just a moment while I move around you. All right. So I'm just going to grab these lovely warm sponges from over here. And right here, okay. So once again, these are heated, but they're heated to a very specific temperature that it should not be uncomfortable. I'm going to start off by pressing one to your left ear over here for a few moments. Then we'll do the right. And then we'll do one more of each, and then we'll do both together. This is kind of off and on rhythm that we found works really well for steam cleaning the ears. I'm just gonna, just gonna squeeze out some of the extra water real quick. There we go. Okay. As nice as the warmth feels, I don't wanna send any water dripping down your neck here, okay? So, I'm going to place my hand on the right side of your head here, just to kind of stabilize your head while I press this to your ear. And here we go. Just going to hold it there. Place that back in the warming device and grab the other sponge. Squeeze out some of that extra water. Okay. As I'm placing my hand on the left side of your head here to stabilize it, I'm going to press the sponge to your right ear. Right there. Okay. Once again, holding it to a count of Ten. back to the left side here with the sponge. It's going to be a little different than the last time. Instead of holding it stationary, I'm going to be moving it around a little bit. Placing my hand on the right side here to stabilize. And here we go.
as well about the sponges and do the same on the right side. chance to get damp and warm again. I'm going to grab the left ear sponge. I'm going to do one final pass, pressing both sponges to both of your ears at the same time, just holding them steady this time. Once again, to a count of ten. Set these aside. We'll grab some fresh sponges for so the next time we do this. Just a moment. Put them back over here. Good. Beautiful. Okay. Now, just gonna take a few more notes and then we'll move ahead. the extraction that we're going to be doing in a moment. Um, I have this specialized tool that's a lot like an otoscope. However, it has this long, tiny, thin little um, scoop. It's like a soft, flexible scoop. It passes through the otoscope and it allows me to gently remove the insomnia a little bit at a time, okay? It's very soft, very gentle. You might feel a slight tingling sensation. It's totally normal, okay? So, let's go ahead and get started with that first on this side. Alright, so I've got the tool right here and it's gonna feel a lot like the otoscope did, just with a little bit of scooping added. So here we go. You're going to feel it entering your left ear. Okay, good. Let's get nice and deep into the ear. Good. So, taking a look around and, wow, yeah, you've got a lot of insomnia in there, quite a lot of buildup. No wonder you've been having trouble sleeping. Okay. 
I'm going to start using the little extension on here to gently start removing some of that insomnia buildup. Okay. I'm going to start right here. You're going to feel a gentle scoop. some out from here. Beautiful. Okay. Let's get one from back here. Good. Okay. And I definitely want to get that one, but I think I'm gonna need to remove blocking at first, so let's go up here and get this one. Good. Okay, and then back down here. We'll clear this one out of the way. Good. And let's go ahead and get that big one I had my feel a gentle scoop. Good. Good. Gonna get maybe two or three more for this round. They're coming out really easily, which is nice. Sometimes they can be stubborn, but... These are... Coming out really nicely. Okay, let's get this one here. I'm gonna scoop. Good. And... Let's get... This over here. Beautiful. I was able to get a lot. Let's see if I can get as much on this side. Alright, so just the same as the other side. Got my tool here. You're going to feel it entering your ear canal right here. Okay. I'm hoping I can get least as much on this side, if not a little more, maybe. So, get all the way back there. And let's start over here. Just gonna scoop that out. Good. And See if I can get this one out this time. So, get right in there and beautiful. Yeah, that came out really easily. Okay. Let's get this one over here. Barely hanging on. I think it's ready to go, so I'm gonna scoop. Good. Okay. And let's 
That's really nice. We've already cleared out a lot. Let's get back in here and see if I can get them up a little more. So let's just get this one and right here. Good. All right. Great. That went really well. Just gonna notate a few things. Check off a couple things here. We got secondary check with the otoscope first on this side then over here all right here we go with the otoscope again entering your ear Concern anything like that. And we're looking really good. Condition of the ear as far as. Else we want to remove. See what kind of progress we made. Beautiful, I think we're in really good shape here. Okay, let's go ahead and remove the otoscope. Okay, looking good, and here we go with the otoscope again in your ear right here. Responding really nicely to the extraction process. Not seeing any signs of her concern. Everything looks good. Oh, okay, well, let's go ahead and remove the other skull. Beautiful. A few more notes. Then we're going to do another round of all those things. Okay, and 
right ear. One, two, three. Beautiful. Okay. We're going to do another steam treatment on each side. Get behind you again. Okay, let's grab some fresh, hot sponges. Here we go. Gonna place them down right here. Okay, this is gonna be the same as the first time. I'll go left and right, just steady, then left and right with some movement, and then we'll do both at the same time, so. Again, I'm going to be placing my hand on the right side of your head to stabilize it here. Okay, just pressing it there, and you're going to feel that sponge on your left ear. Okay. Let's count down this time. From ten. Ten. Same thing, opposite side. Placing my hand on the left side and ten, nine, eight, seven. Hand on the right side of your head. And again, this time it's going to be with a little movement over the ear. side of your head here and here we go.
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. All right, let's put those away. go ahead in and do another round of extractions, okay? Again, we'll start on this side, and we'll go back over to this side. We got so much the first time, I think we're going to be able to make even more progress, all right? Great. So, here we go. I think you know the drill now. You're going to feel it entering your ear right here. deeply embedded. So I think that's going to be a real big help to get those out. Which ones do I want to get? Okay. I think there is four or five. than I'd hoped. Okay, let's do this one. We're gonna go. Excellent. Okay. That steam cleaning definitely helped. Loosen them up quite a bit. I'm gonna go in a little bit deeper. See if I can get this one here. Absolutely incredible on here, so let's push our luck and see if we can get one more way in the back here. Okay. I'm gonna angle this just right and I'm gonna scoop. Removing the tool. Amazing. I'm so happy with how this is going. Let's go ahead and we're gonna get in there one more time here. Okay. Here we go. Steam should have made them pretty easy to access though, so let's start. I want to 
see if we can get at least one, maybe two more before we wrap up here. And let's see if I can get this one in the back here. I'm not sure if I'll be able to, but I'm gonna try. Okay. This one looks like it's been camping out in there for a real long time. So let's see. Wonderful. I'm so happy I was able to get that one. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this from your ear. Beautiful. You're sitting so well for this. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna check a couple of things off. Just gonna do a final check on this side and then on this side, write down a few quick notes about my findings, and then you're gonna be all set, okay? Alright, so again with the otoscope, I'm gonna start over here. And I'm gonna place the otoscope in your ear again, right here. Looks really good. Just beautiful. Okay. Right on the tips. No side effects of the fluid or anything like that. I'm not seeing any reason at all to be concerned. Okay, 
And finally, we're going to do one final check on this side. Here we go with the otoscope. Deeper for that tympanic membrane back there. And that looks just beautiful too. Okay. Really healthy. Healthy. I think the insomnia extraction process just. congratulate myself for this being one of the best treatments I think I've ever done, but I think it's mostly you because you sat so well for it. Thank you. Check the It was an absolute pleasure working with you today. Thank you so much for participating in our study. I hope it works really well for you. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you at uh, your follow-up appointment. You can go ahead and schedule that on your way out. But uh, for now, thank you so much, and I hope I'll see you again real soon. Hello, thank you so much for returning to join us for the final part of our study. I'm just going to do a quick refresher on what we're doing here today, okay? So, we are studying the effects of pre-procedural massage on recovery post-procedure. Uh, for you, if I'm remembering correctly, the procedure we performed was... Yes, it was an insomnia extraction. I think I recall it going very well. I hope it's been helpful for you. Um, so if you recall, we originally did the initial checkup, and then we did the massage right after that. Then you moved on to the actual procedure itself. Um, today we're doing another checkup. It's going to be very similar to the first one. Uh, just going to be making sure everything looks good, and I'll be taking notes throughout so I can collect some comparative data for the study. And just like the first one, the checkup is going to involve me touching you quite a bit, getting really close to you. Is that going to be alright? Okay, great. Just like to ask every time. Okay, so you sit right there. I'm going to go grab my gloves, and then we'll go ahead and get started. Alright, 
So, I'm going to begin just taking your temperature. Start over here, and as a reminder, I like to do it on both sides. So, hold still when I'm done with the first one. I'm going to get right in here. You're going to feel the tip of the thermometer entering your ear canal. your pulse. I like to take the carotid pulse here in the neck. So I'm just going to take my fingers and place them gently the side of your neck here. And if you can hold on a moment, I'm just going to check the time while I count. works. Okay. I'm going to take this cuff. I'm going to wrap it very snugly around your arm. I'm going to be inflating it. I'm going to be doing a little listening with my stethoscope. If you can just hang in there. I have to take a couple different measurements and then we'll move on. Okay. So this is going to get quite tight on your arm as it inflates. So it's going to feel like a real tight hug, but it shouldn't hurt or be too uncomfortable, so if it is, just let me know, okay? Alright, so, I'm going to go ahead and, if you don't mind, lifting up your arm for me a little bit. Thank you. Okay, get it wrapped around here. Perfect. I'm going to put my ears in here and... You're going to feel the stethoscope on your arm. It's a little cool. All right, here we go. Okay. Just a moment. I need to keep listening while I deflate. Beautiful. Just gonna write that down. Okay. Okay. 
If you go ahead and raise your arms just a little bit, I'm going to stick them right under here. Under your arms, I'm going to be real careful not to tickle. Just going to feel around a little. Is that okay? Any pain or discomfort? Okay. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and place my fingers on the back of your skull, right at the base of your skull, top of your neck. good here too. Are you feeling any pain or discomfort? Alright. Okay. So. Left. And. Right. Okay. Stethoscope again. Okay, so I'm going to take the stethoscope, going to warm it up a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be placing it on a few different spots on your chest. I'm going to be asking you to inhale and exhale. I'm going to be taking a listen, your heart and your lungs. Then I'm going to move around back, do the same thing behind you on your back, okay? Alright, so I'm going to begin by just loosening up the front of your gown here a little bit. There we go. Just going to give myself a little room. Okay. You ready? Okay, it's going to put in the first spot here. Alright, just breathe normally for a moment. Okay. Any shortness of breath, congestion, coughing, anything like that lately? Not so, just checking. Okay. Now, if you could go ahead and take a nice deep breath for me. Begin by inhaling. And out. Good. Okay. Over here. Go ahead and inhale for me. Out. Beautiful. And over here, if you could please inhale. Exhale. Great. Okay, you can go ahead and breathe normally while I sneak around back here. Alright. Just sneaking around behind you here and this time, I'm going to loosen up the gown in the back. Just a little bit. Okay. And just more of the same behind you now. I'm going to place it here. Nice deep breath in. And out. Perfect. Okay, over here. Nice deep breath in. Good. Out. Okay. Let's do one over here. Nice deep breath in. Out. Beautiful. One more. Just back here. Deep breath in. Out. Great. Okay, you can breathe normally. And, okay. Alright. Great. I'm going to go ahead and set this down. Over here. I'm going to take a few notes.
for good. Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the slightly where is it? There it is. The slightly less intense pen light that I have for the eye exam. Okay. Don't want to blind you. Okay. So look straight at me. Good. Okay. So to begin with, I'm going to ask you to hold your head as still as you can. Keep your head fa face, face forward, <laughs> okay? And if you can just look at my nose for a moment. Good. Okay. Can, without moving your head, can you look up? Good. Down. Beautiful. Left. And right. Now, again, try not to move your head, we're just moving the eyes. Can you look at the tip of this pen light here? Just right here, okay? Keep your gaze fixed on it. I'm going to be moving it a little bit, okay? Got it? Okay. So only moving the eyes. Good. Following. Perfect. Alright, you can blink if you need to. We're going to do it one more time. Take a look here. Good. And following it with your gaze. Good. Alright, beautiful. Let me just note that. Again, following the tip of the pen light, I'm going to ask you to try and keep your head still. Look here, you got it? Okay. I'm going to be moving it in and out now. It's going to come close. You might go a little cross-eyed, we'll see. But try and keep your gaze right here, okay? Following it. Good. I'm going to bring it in close. Good. Okay, keeping your gaze on it. And back and good. All right. Rotation reflex. Good. All right. Now, in just a moment, I'm going to ask you to pick a point over my shoulder back there. I'm going to ask you to stare at it. Okay. Try and keep your gaze fixed. Try not to blink. I'm going to be taking this light and very gently shining it obliquely in your eyes, okay? We'll start on this side and then I'll be checking this eye as well, okay? So, just pick a point on the wall over my shoulder. Got one? Okay, great. So, I might get in the way. Just try and keep your gaze fixed on where you think it is back there. Okay, so, got it? Right in there, and just gently blink if you need to, but as much as you can, try to keep your eye open and fixed on that point. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, blink a few times. Good. Alright, pick another point over this shoulder. Or the same point if you want. I'm going to move over here. Got it? Okay. Once again, I'm going to get in real close. Shine light. Try to keep your eyes fixed. Try not to blink. You're doing great. Okay. Wonderful. Good. You can relax for a moment. more quick tests with the light. You can go ahead and look straight ahead for a moment. Good. I'm going to bring the light up. 
keep your gaze fixed here on my nose, okay? I'm gonna be moving the light back and forth. Good. Great, your pupils are doing exactly what they're supposed to do. That's great. This time, I'm gonna shine the light, fix your eyes on it, and try to follow it back and forth, okay? So looking at the light, just like that, good. Okay, so following it from side to side. Good. You're doing a wonderful job. All right. Good. Get at my nose. Keep your eyes fixed on my nose. Try not to look at the light. Okay, you can blink as much as you want now. Shall we go ahead and do the other side? Okay. Stay right there. Once again, here we go with the dip of the otoscope, entering your ear canal. Yeah. 
occurs behind the membrane or just where they should be. Okay, let's move on out here a little bit. what I'm seeing. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the otoscope. Good. All right. I'm gonna take my notes real quick. So, left ear was start on this side and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be rubbing my fingers. I'm going to start very close to your ear. I'm going to move it away and what I'd like you to do is just indicate to me when you can no longer hear it, okay? So you can say now or you can raise your hand, whatever you want to do. You ready? Okay, I'm going to place my hand right here and let me know when you can no longer hear it, okay? You are all set. I am really happy with how that went. I was able to collect a lot of really useful data for a study and everything's looking really good. So, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, you can see yourself out whenever you're ready and please, I hope you will join us again for our next study.